What's going on guys? Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to unbrick your Samsung Gear S. This obviously has a charger in the back of it. This particular one is from AT&T, but this might be your problem as well. Or if you just want to flash your device into stock firmware for your watch, some reason if something has happened. Quick backstory is I bought this pre-owned and obviously it's brick. I took this into AT&T, they couldn't help me. I said, you know what, I'm gonna figure this out. For this, you will need obviously the charger so you can plug in the micro USB cable directly from your computer. So have a USB to micro USB cable and have your charger on hand and let's go ahead and begin. Now I will have all the links for the directions and for the firmware, I will have those in the description box below. So take a look at those. So for this particular one, you guys can use the non at and one or the T-Mobile one or whatever those different ones are. There's a whole list of them. This particular one is the SMR750A. But again, in that description box will be the link. You just choose whatever firmware you need. Regular 750, you can search right over here. And again, it led me to this. You might get an automatic download from that website, but it took me over to this website here, and I will leave this one for the AT&T one here. So I hit the download button here. It downloaded right here. It's a zip file. We're gonna have to unzip it. Ignore this one. This one didn't work. This is the one you want right here. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. We're gonna unzip this file, which is pretty easy here. You just come up to here. We're gonna go ahead and close that. And then all you do here is you just go ahead and double click on that. It's gonna extract those files. It's gonna unzip that. Pretty simple. And I went ahead and moved all of these files here, the R70A. I moved them over to my Gear S folder so that I can get to them in a little bit here, which I'll show you in the video. Okay, so our firmware is downloaded. Now we're actually gonna have to download this software, O-D-I-N. We're gonna have to download that and download the driver and unzip those files as well. So let's go ahead and hit that download button there. If you do get pop-ups, it's just some spam stuff, so don't worry about that. Uncheck that, and we should get the download coming down here in just a second. So after I hit that download button, a pop-up came in, just X out of that. This is what you want right here. Download Samsung ODIN right here. This is the bar you wanna hit, download. There's other versions if you want that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one here. And I'm pretty sure this is, if you are using Mac, you might have to go through a different option route here, but this is for Windows computers. Here we go here. It actually took me about three different times hitting that download button. The pop-ups try to come up but now we're actually downloading it. It's fantastic. So we will download the file in a couple seconds there. Okay, I've come up to this page here. Ignore all that, that's all advertisements. You wanna go ahead and download right here. And now we're coming in right there. This is probably one more pop-up, so just X out of that. And now we have it down here. You're gonna extract that file, so go ahead and double click that, close that. We're gonna go ahead and extract both of these. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that there and click on that there, and then Odin is gonna fire up. We still need to download the driver, so we're gonna go ahead and hit download the driver there. That's the third step. And here's Samsung driver version 1.5.63.0. We're gonna go ahead and hit download there, and that one popped up first time, fantastic. Same thing, hit download there, X off that pop-up that pops up, and we have this right here. Same thing, double click, extract the files, we're gonna go ahead and hit, if you do have this pop-up that comes in, we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. And if you get this, we're gonna go ahead and go through this here. Choose your language. And we're gonna go ahead and install that Samsung USB driver for mobile phones. Okay, now with your files extracted, we are gonna go into download mode on the Gear S. So we're gonna go ahead and hold the home button down here. And it should be, I think it's about 10 seconds or so, sometimes a little bit less. We'll get a fire up menu in and it will say rebooting. You go ahead and let go. We're gonna hit the home button one time. That's gonna drop it down to download. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it down for just a few seconds here. Let go of it and it will fire up downloading. Do not turn off target, okay? It's gonna stay in this menu. And what we wanna do is our USB cable is plugged in here. Let's take our other end with, again, with the charger now on it and plug in the micro USB into the charging side here, okay? Now that that's plugged in, your computer might be installing device software here. We're gonna have to wait till our computer recognizes that because we want the software ODIN3 
to recognize the Samsung Gear S. Okay, after Windows 7 had to install the driver for this because I've never plugged this into my computer before, ODI in 3 has now added my device, so it recognizes my device here. I actually removed the micro USB cable and plugged it back in, so that's why it says removed and added. So this means it recognizes it. Now in your options, it should automatically have checkmark auto reboot and checkmark F dot reset time. You don't need to do anything with that if those are already checked. Okay, if you're using Odin, your screen might look exactly like this after we have it added here. You should see BLAPCP or CSC, or you might see PDA. A PDA is an older version of ODI in three. We're gonna go ahead and use AP. It's the same exact thing. We're gonna go ahead and click on AP where I have it stored in my computer. So now this file folder shows up right here after of course we hit AP. We're gonna go ahead and double click on this here and ignore that. I ran it once but goofed, but now it's going again here. It's checking it. Do not unplug the cable, please wait. And then a few seconds later we have checking MD5 finish successfully. Leave CS, fantastic. Now we're going ahead and hit start, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and start here. All these little different things will fall into place there and we'll let it run for a little bit. We are now flashing the device, so do not remove or operate the device if you're using a cell phone or the Gear S. Do not operate it at all. Let it go through its whole entire cycle. Alrighty guys, that only took a few minutes here and it says removed here, but it says okay. And I have right up here a big pass. So that means we're good to go right there. Looks like it took three minutes, 20 seconds about. You might see a reset. If you do see a reset, again, the links that I will have linked, they will go ahead and show you a little bit more instructions, what you should do if it failed, etc. But it has rebooted, but let's go ahead and take it off the charger here. And let's go ahead and see if we have it a fresh reboot here. Okay, I'm getting a do not turn off target here. So it looks like we're going through some sort of loading menu. We'll go ahead and let that run and I'll get back to you in just a second. So after it fired back up, I actually went back and did a factory reset. It's the same thing as putting it in the download menu. You hold it down while it is off. It will say rebooting. And then you scroll down to where we showed earlier in the video. And I went down to recover, held it down for a few seconds. And I wanna make sure that we have absolute factory defaults. So now as an installing new configuration, and after this is done, we should be back up and running just like if you were to buy this brand spanking new from Samsung. Okay, fantastic. This is what the menu you should get. I'm gonna throw in a quick clip right now of before I did that. And it was just a weird menu. And I actually, I am very glad that I reset it, but I did it right on here after I flashed the device. So this is fantastic. This is exactly what you want here. Install Samsung gear on your mobile device. You can download it, etc. This is what you wanna see. I'm super stoked now. Thanks so much for watching guys. Subscribe and hit that like button if it's helped you pull your Samsung Gear S out of brick mode. And again, all those links and instructions is in the description box below the video. You guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Every day and every night, every night. Every day and every night, every night.